Hello and welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. So today I'm going to show you how to get in underneath the bottom of a print head on this version of an EK tank printer. So reasons you might want to do this is basically you have a complete blockage, you've tried some head flushes, head cleans and various other things and this is the last ditched attempt basically to try and unblock it before you have to take it for service, dispose of it or, or whatever you're going to do with it. So basically this is something that you could try which may help solve this. So at the moment I've got the print head in the in the middle here it's freely to move free to move. Now the way I did this was I powered the printer on and I pressed the scan button and then as soon as the cartridge head started to move I unplugged it so that it's free because we will need to have it free so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some screws from the printer what I'm going to remove is this one up here in the top right and then one here in the top left so the reason for removing them is I just have to get in because I'm not going to be able to So remember you must have this unplugged. Right, so once those two screws are removed, you will be able to lift the lid like this and get in at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the lid partially, prop it open so we can get in there so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to pop pop some gloves on right so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prop it open with the screwdriver just for the video now you can you can pretty much use whatever you want. Right, so what we need to do is we need to get in uh, underneath the bottom of the print head and give it a clean. So I don't really want to remove the print head. Uh, it's not something I'd want to do in a video. It's quite complex and technical, I'm sure. And then you've got all the whole realignment issue of trying to get it back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some lint-free wipes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them Fold them over and put them, fit them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it between the channel in here. So let's just there. And then I'm going to, I'm going to slide the print head over the top. Now before I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, it's a mixture of distilled water. So 80% distilled water, 20% alcohol solution. And I'm going to take a syringe with about 5ml of ink in it and I'm just going to gently... Now remember this is a lint free cloth. I'm going to slide the print head over the top of it like so. So the, the tissue now at the moment, or the lint-free cloth, is either side of the print head. And what we're going to do is, we're going to floss the print head. So we're going to hold it either side. Now I do apologise if, if it's hard to see exactly what I'm doing. So you can see I'm basically just pulling it, flossing it from right to left, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it for about 5 or 10 minutes just to soak up the bottom 
of the print head and try and break down those dried particles on your print head. So what I'm going to do now is like that, uh, rather than just cut the video, so I'm just going to pretend it's five minutes later now, ten minutes, it doesn't really matter. I would say like no more than ten, fifteen minutes tops, anywhere between five and fifteen minutes. There's no hard and fast rule with this. Basically if it doesn't work first time you can try it again. You've got nothing to lose, you know, your printer's already blocked. So again, just imagine like five or ten minutes has gone, just come back to it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this out and hopefully this will have removed the dried crusted particles from the bottom of the print head. So you can basically just put the printer back together, slide it back over to the right. Pop your screws in, one up here and one up here and then basically do a couple of cleans and see has it actually cleared it, has it solved it. If it hasn't solved it you can try it again, perhaps leave leave it, leave it, the alcohol solution with distilled water a little more time to try and break that down, even a few hours, it doesn't really matter, up to a few hours. So there's, like I say, there's no hard and fast rule in how, how long you have to leave it, uh, probably the more, the longer the better. Uh, and that's it really, that's one way that you could try and unblock it and get in there to the bottom of the print head. Thank you.